Hey guys, Yummy here again, and today a lot of you guys wanted me to do the mastery dog tag for the AS Val, and admittedly I only had about 200 kills with this weapon overall after I don't know how many hours in this game, so it was quite a grind, and I want to thank anybody who stopped by on my stream on Twitch and watched me try to grind through to these 500 kills, but I did eventually manage to do it after a few final rounds in TDM after just trying to do it with Conquest Large, but it doesn't didn't seem to do it fast enough and it was taking a little bit too long to accomplish this feat so I finally decided to just stick it out in TDM and I ended up getting the mastery dog tag. Just remember guys if there's a weapon that you would like me to master next make sure you put it down in the comment below. Check the description for weapons I have yet to master. Now on to the AS Val. This has been a favorite of the community all the way back to Bad Company 2 with the VSS Ventikov or the sniper rifle variant of this weapon which is an automatic silenced sniper rifle that was absolutely insane and especially could be used very well as an aggressive recon loadout and in Battlefield 3 it was just one of the best close quarters weapons in the game and since it was a PDW and they were universal in Battlefield 3 any class could use them so they ended up being very effective in that game then Battlefield 4 came, ar came along and the second assault DLC came out and it was just very very underwhelming with those 21 bullets in the magazine the PDW class of weapons were just too weak for you to be able to have any kind of effectiveness using this gun. But over time DICE finally got around to buffing the AS Val along with the PDWs as a whole and now it is actually an extremely viable gun. It might not be as good as Battlefield 3 variant and I think it's just slightly less as good but in all honesty, the Battlefield 3 one was very nearly overpowered, like very close. I didn't use it very much, but I was killed by it a lot, and I've seen a lot of gameplay of guys who are really good with it, and it absolutely destroyed. In this game, it is very good. Uh, it's one of the best PDWs now, but you just have to take that 21 rounds in the magazine into account. Just like all of the other PDWs in the game, the AS Val is definitely seen as more of a close quarters gun. With that 21 rounds coupled with a very high fire rate, you're going to be burning through all of those bullets extremely fast. Like very nearly instantaneously. So it ends up being extremely difficult to kill more than two guys in one magazine. A lot of times it can be very difficult to kill two guys in one magazine. So there are PDWs that have such massive magazine counts that you can even though there is the PDW damage nerf at range to where they they're one of the least effective guns in the game at range you could just spray at your enemy until you kill them anyway because you have such a massive magazine like 50 rounds but in the AS Val's case that definitely is not the case and I, it is very not advised to go for ranged targets even if you are extremely good at tap firing and getting consistent headshots at range this gun is still extremely ineffective. That being said, the recent patch, the spring patch that buffed the entire class of PDW weapons has made the AS Val way better than it was before and especially better than it was whenever it was first released with the second assault DLC and is actually very viable, very effective and extreme close quarters up to a little bit of mid-range. Now once you get to just standard mid-range like say 75 meters or so it, it just suddenly just drops off really bad and it can be next to impossible to kill guys especially in one magazine. You have to be very very patient with your tap firing and just wait for shots that, that you know can land on their upper body body your head to be able to kill them. But what is the result of this buff in damage at close range and along with this default silenced mode and fire rate? It ends up being the perfect gun for what is really my style of playing which is very aggressive PTFOing. Now on very open Conquest Large maps like say Gold Mud Railway or something it can be extremely ineffective unless you just sticking around the A and B flags up in that upper village area but in most maps you can put yourself in situations in which you'll excel with this gun because there are a lot of close quarters situations on practically every map except most definitely Silk Road. But since I play really fast and aggressive jumping around whenever guys are shooting at me going around corners and quickly scooting back out to catch them off guard and killing them this gun just seems really good at it and it has a pretty fast reload speed that adds to this effect in close quarters. 
So this is definitely one of the fastest killing weapons in the game in close quarters, and if you manage to stick around those areas, you can rack up a lot of kills in a short period of time. Especially if the team that you're playing against isn't exactly the brightest like in a lot of the TDM matches that I play, where a lot of the players are really new to the game and stuff, it, it can be really easy racking up a lot of kills in TDM just sticking around in this one little area and keep killing the guys that are keep funneling into the area. Just be wary that with the 21 rounds that you run through really fast, you can run through all of your ammo with the gun as a whole really fast as well. Sometimes it was only a few minutes and then I was out of ammo and I needed to find a support player or just stick with my 44 Magnum that I was using as a sidearm until I could find another kit to use. And that was definitely a good combination. And what something that I like to call the Wombo Combo in Battlefield 4 is using a PDW with a Magnum as a sidearm for long range. And it definitely was a, uh, effective because I was able to practically snipe people with the Magnum if they were out of range of the AS Val. So there we go, another mastery dog tag down and many, many more to go. Just remember, if there is a weapon that you guys would like me to do next, check the description down below and then put the one that you want me to do next in the comment section down below. So if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, this is Yummy. Goodbye and good hunting.